Hi, I'm Peter Travers, and this is Popcorn, where we tell you what's happening at the movies. And a major happening right now is the film Rabbit Hole, starring Nicole Kidman in a very dramatic role that's already creating Oscar buzz. Nicole will be with us in just a minute, but first, let's take a look at Nicole Kidman in Rabbit Hole. She, uh, you know, she visits me sometimes in dreams, and uh, she tells me it's okay. And she's with God. God had to take her. He needed another angel. He needed another angel. Why didn't he just make one? Another angel. I mean, he's God after all. Why didn't he just make another angel? Hmm? This. Welcome to the show. Thank it you. It is so great to have you here. And because we haven't met, I just want to look at you and say to your face that you, I want to commend you for being so ballsy. <laughs> Everything, I never get to do that. That's nice. But you, in your position, could do any kind of movie. You could be a psychotic weather woman in To Die For. <laughs> you could do birth. You could do movies that people would say, well, why is she choosing that when she could do so many? And now you've chosen to do Rabbit Hole, mm -hmm. a not easy movie, mm -hmm. although it has fun in it. it yeah, I it think it has fun. hope in it. It has what hope, it has. and that's and it has important um, to do that. It has um, observation, very astute observation yeah. as well, which sometimes can be um, funny just mm -hmm. because it's so um, authentic, so real. But what drew you to Rabbit Hole? I think the power of it, because I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, I, I suppose most of the, the themes that run through my work are, are about love, and whether it's, um, wh whether it's love stories, whether it's finding somebody and, and finding love, whether it's losing it, whether it's um, obsession, um, I'm just fascinated with all the different ways in which to, to play it. Love seems to always draw me in, and this was a story about love and loss of it, and the way in which you try to recover. Well, we should set that up a little about what happens mm -hmm. you know, in the movie, that mm. the, this couple that you and Aaron Eckhart are playing lose mm. a child, mm. four years old, mm -hmm. hit by a car. Yeah. yeah. And it's how you deal with it. And I remembered, I had seen a quote from you mm. back when birth came out, mm. where, again, it is it's a husband and wife situation, mm. but you said something about, do you ever really get over losing mm. someone that was that important to you? And yet, Rabbit Hole is about you not getting over it, but moving a couple of steps beyond it so that you can have a life. Living with it. Living with it. Learning to live mm -hmm. with it, which is what... We all have to do, mm -hmm. ultimately, because we're all going to experience it. We don't talk about it too much, or when we get hit by it, um, some of us, you know, end up never, never, um, never recovering at all, and never learning to live with it. And others, others do, you know. And that's I, I, the speech for me that Diane Weiss gives about it's there, it's in your pocket, um, like a brick. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that speech to me is exquisite writing because it's so real, but it's also, um, that's where the hope is. That's where it's one of those little things where you just say, my gosh, here's a, this is something that makes me feel less alone. It's a life lesson and it's mm -hmm. hidden through um, amongst this story. You have to stop erasing him. You have to stop it. Do you really think that I don't see him every second of every day? The video was an accident, Howie. And believe me, I will beat myself up about it forever, I'm sure. Just like everything else I could have prevented. That's but... not what I want, Becca. No, because it feels like it is. It feels like maybe I don't feel badly enough for you. Maybe I'm not feeling enough. What do you want from me? How do you come about choosing John Cameron Mitchell to direct this movie? This is a guy <laughs> most well known for Hedwig and the Angry Inch, for starring in it and mm -hmm. creating it. 
Mm -hmm. And yet you, Nicole Kidman, say, I want Hedvig basically to direct <laughs> this piece of material. How yeah. does that happen? Because I, I, I hate to be typecast. Mm -hmm. I hate to be seen just based on what I've done. My, I, I love to stretch and feel like I'm being challenged and seen in different ways. And so Absolutely. I believe directors like that too. So when I heard that he was interested, I went, mm, okay, this is interesting to me because why? Cut. Let's hear why. Very he's good. Really cut. Talented. Cut. And I got on the phone with him and I just liked him. And I felt I'm very much someone that goes off feelings and, and, um, and I make very sort of spontaneous choices. Um, and I've, within five minutes, I was like, absolutely, let's do this. You want to have sex? Well, don't say it like that. You're trying to rope me into having sex. I am not. I wasn't roping you into sex. Al Green isn't roping? No. Al Green? I thought it was nice. That's all. I was trying to make things nice. You can't. Things aren't nice anymore. What I'm interested in, this daredevil aspect of you, I read somewhere once that you like skydiving. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it? Is that since you were a kid? Uh, I mean, when I was a kid, I begged my mom if I could go and, mm -hmm. and skydive, and she wouldn't let me. I begged for a tattoo, and she wouldn't let me. Mm -hmm. There were many things I wanted that my mother wouldn't let me have, so I suppose I've... But um, later? Yes. As soon as yeah. I, was, I still don't have the tattoo. You, there's a tattoo hidden somewhere. But I'm married to somewhere. a man that has a lot of tattoos. tattoos so it's okay <laughs> with him. <laughs> so I'm sort of, it's that his body, I share his body. So, <laughs> so you can see all the other ones too. But um, when was the first time you skied? Uh, I would have been, how old, I, I was with Tom and we were um, doing Days of Thunder. And, um, <laughs> and said and we yes. Skied up. We jumped out of planes and that's, you know. We, we fell in love, you know, doing those sort of things. Jumping out of planes. That's and it. other things. And other things, <laughs> yeah. But the fact is, a lot of people are scared to death of doing no, it. No, I wasn't like scared. I was exhilarated. You don't seem to have fear about Oh, I have this. enormous fear. It's not that I don't have So you're pushing fear. against the fear. Yeah, I believe in um, trying to move into it, feel. I love to feel. And... I, to be alive because then I, I suppose that to me is I'm I've you know I want to have a well-examined life I really do I want to experience things feel things I'm curious I hope when I'm 80 I'm curious if I make it to 80 I, I love to be curious and I love I hope you're skydiving at 80 that would be well, maybe I'll be doing other stuff other but that, that would be kind of nice that would be good <laughs> I'm sure studio people your mom had said to you no, you're not going to do that. What about the people that are financing a major movie that you're doing, saying, yes, skydive, go ahead. Well, I was with Tom, and so he basically Anything took care of okay. it. I was like, <laughs> are, we was are okay. you sure we're allowed to do this? And he's like, trust me, it's OK. And we would go in our lunch break and go and do it. Yeah, we were probably pretty out of control. Is Keith very much like this, too? Is he daredevilish? Will he jump out of planes? I mean, and I, I, don't, I don't feel daredevilish. I feel mm -hmm. um, just. No, I was stealing it for you. Things. <laughs> There's certain things. I mean, I love to scuba dive. There's certain things I love. and, and um, But there's other stuff like downhill skiing still terrifies me. So, you know, there's, there's things that, that really frighten me that I won't do. I heard you were petrified of butterflies. I'm through that. Oh, what did Thank it? Thank you. Um, Congratulations. Yeah, I just sort of had to change my view of them. But it was because when I was a kid, I came home and on the door was this massive moth-like butterfly. And for some reason, that just really, um, I, I, you know, if you see something around three or four, it's, mm. it's, it's so, and I didn't like him. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow mm. the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road.